The mention of Los Angeles, a sprawling city of nine million, is more likely to conjure up visions of Hollywood and endless crowded freeway systems than a world-class dive destination. Head west from the famed California coast a short 22 miles in good company and an oasis will appear. Santa Catalina Island, of which 88% is protected by the Catalina Conservancy, boasts a dramatic mountainous coastline which harbors over 1,000 dive sites, easily accessible from both shore and boat. Beneath the ocean's plain, pierced by sun rays, an epic, breathtaking sanctuary is revealed. Giant kelp strands lazily reach skyward through splintered light and beckon like sirens, inviting those willing to roam in their golden glow and ambient shade. Divers in the know will attest that this emerald forest is for real and arguably one of the best signature dive sites in the world. It's a living aquarium without the glass. Imagine being able to be a bird flying in Sequoia Park. That's exactly the experience you have, where as you swim on a good day uh, through the kelp forest, 60 feet tall, uh, you, you have these colors like the Garibaldis here and there. I mean, it, it, it's magical. It's absolutely magical. And you're weightless. You're completely weightless, which is, by the way, what the astronauts experience. But before they become astronauts, they have to be scuba divers. Kelp is absolutely uh, magical to dive in. Uh, I've often referred to the kelp forest as uh, my cathedrals. And uh, uh, when my minister sees me on Sunday in my wetsuit, he uh, asks, how come you're not coming to church? And I say, because I'm going to the cathedral of the kelp forest. It is an extraordinary habitat for all kinds of species which may not be there if they, we didn't have any kelp. Including the normally shy and solitary harbor seal. Lucky divers may experience rare encounters with these 250 pound marine mammals. I mean, the harbor seals uh, can be so familiar. I, I remember, in, uh, I think I was on Anacapa with a friend of mine diving and uh, something was chewing on my head. So I was going like this because I thought it was my friend being stupid. And uh, it, it was a harbor seal. Big certainly has its place in the kelp forest, such as the 450 pound giant black sea bass. When I first started diving Catalina back in the 60s, um, the giant sea bass had pretty well been wiped out from our waters. Um, and it actually was about 30 years before I saw my first one. Now these fish are incredible, and if you approach them cautiously and slowly, they will sit there and eyeball you for 45, 50 minutes. They look at you, you look at them, they look at you, uh, but they're just amazing fish to be able to swim right next to something that large uh, and that docile. It's but just one gem of diving the Emerald Forest. A cloud of sand reduces visibility, but is good news for those seeking encounters with bad rays, whose wingspan can reach a width of up to six feet. Awe-inspiring encounters are common off Catalina's waters. Females give live birth to their pups, who emerge tail first with wings wrapped around their bodies. If it's sheer numbers you are seeking, Catalina certainly won't disappoint divers or predators. Oftentimes you can be at a dive site and see thousands and thousands of jack mackerel just winding their way through the site. Uh, and you can get in the middle of them and sometimes there'll be schools of sardines above them and top smelt to the side. And of course bait fish attract things that eat bait fish. And all of a sudden you see the barracuda coming in. But probably the most spectacular thing I've seen with a bait ball was a bait ball that was trapped in the Casino Point dive park in between the inner edge of the kelp bed and the breakwater. 
And all of a sudden, I see all these kelp bass lined up on the periphery by the breakwater. And they start zooming out and attacking this bait ball of jack mackerel. And it was just awesome. It was like seeing lions attack zebras or, or something like that in Africa. It certainly gets exciting down here. And Bob Kennedy, mayor of Avalon, explains why. We have a very uh, diverse ecosystem. And because our water temperature is so temperate, um, we get a lot of pelagics in the, in the summer months. So our visibility will range anywhere between 30 and 100 feet. And so it's worth it sometimes to jump into that cold water knowing that you're gonna you know, get that 3D view of, of everything going on. It's all a matter of perspective on who is getting that 3D view. A heart-to-heart -heart with a kelp bass, or two, is always good for a hearty laugh. Anything is possible in Catalina's underwater rainforests. These lush habitats, nourished by sun, and cold upwellings provide sanctuary for a spectacular and diverse array of marine life. A careful eye reveals the beauty which carpets the ocean's floor. I like to focus on small things too. You know, I'm, I'm very intrigued by the, the fauna and flora as... You, you can be on a square yard of uh, bottom and spend a dive there and see things all the time. Uh, whether it's, you know, small creatures uh, or plants, even plants are fascinating. Yet many people in nearby Los Angeles remain unaware of the beauty and adventure next door. The millions of people out there, great, great, great majority have never come to the island. They don't even know it's there. They're missing out uh, on some very magical places. Avalon's mayor knows his backyard is special. It's nice to have an ecosystem uh, so well preserved, so close to LA. It's very important to me that we get as many people to access a pristine environment as we can to try to push the, the premise of, of conservation and protecting our oceans to the masses. Yet Catalina has the potential to serve as much more than just a great dive destination. You take a child from downtown Los Angeles who has never seen the ocean, which is a criminal, by the way, never seen the ocean. You bring him here. In three days, we teach that kid to snorkel, and we take him out at 10 o'clock at night out there. That young person will never be the same, never be the same. And they certainly have care, attention for two thirds of the planet. On the way back to the mainland, a dive at the oil rigs reveals another unique ecosystem. Every inch of this steely architecture is encrusted with life and a haven for thick schools of fish and their accompanying predators. So, which dive is considered to be the best around Catalina Island? The best dive is the next one, and that's really what's magic here. To me, it beats any tropics. <laughs>